What's going on YouTube? Chris here. I want to bring you all an update today of Bitcoin, Litecoin, and XRP. Those are three we're going to be going over today. And we're going to be looking at Bitcoin here on the four hour time frame. And what we're looking at, we're still targeting this trend line break right here in green. So we have lost that now. And what you can see is that that volume is still just tailing down. So what we would have looked for is a reaction. If we were to make this trend continue, we needed a reaction back up into this trend line. And for us to get over, we'll call it about $7,000 would have been key for us. But that's not happening right now. We're actually having a pretty weak bounce. As you can see, here was our reaction. We fell hard through the trend line. We broke it. We bounced back up and we didn't even make it over that 50 moving average. Now we have all this pressure of those moving averages overhead as well as that trend line break. So what we're doing now, we're floating in the middle of this channel between about six, we'll call it $6,800 and $5,700. So the next stop, if we are to continue this move to the downside, I'm probably going to be looking at about $5,800, we'll say roughly, then around $5,694. Are going to be the areas I'm going to look at because traditionally when we get these type of trend line breaks we'll get 20 to 40 percent in terms of to the downside after we've been in a trend line for about two or three weeks we get a big strong move out of there and we're going to see if this is going to continue or if we're going to always have and this is where I talk to people guys this cryptocurrency or we could have you know almost one of these BART patterns where whale manipulation comes back in and what we would need to do is get up over top of that we'll call it six eight hundred to seven thousand dollars and we need to get back up over top of all these moving averages right here we have this big cluster of moving averages from our 20 EMA on the four hour time frame up to our 50 and then we have our 200 up here and our 200 is going to be at seven thousand two hundred and twenty three dollars which is going to be another thing so we have all this downside pressure we have a trend line break we have the 200 pressing down upon us we have all these moving averages pressing down upon us so right now guys the direction of the trend is down it has changed unless we have like i said some type of just whale manipulation but the volume is low price was going up we had a downside break through the trend line so I can expect some lower numbers and you know I would really try to target this fifty six hundred dollars and I want to see what we do with that if we go to the downside and then most likely around that five thousand dollar mark I really want to see what we would do in terms of with that five thousand dollars is there gonna be a big groundswell of buying there or are we just not having it right now so we have to be aware of that right now our RSI in the four hour is at 35 just really pay close attention to that volume pay attention to that trend line break and if we pop out to the one day just to take a look at this again as our price was rising our volume was going down right there we have been getting ridden by these moving averages you can see typically in a downtrend the 20 EMA is going to act as resistance and in an uptrend it's going to act as support right now it's acting as that resistance once we're getting up to it we're getting pushed back down so this is just a dangerous area to take along I guess is what I'm saying I've been out of the market like we talked about at the trend line break so now I'm just sitting back patiently waiting for a good spot but I wouldn't want to just jump in right now with the hopes that there's going to be some whale manipulation right now the trends down the moving average is down we had a trend line break it's on weak volume or volume has been decreasing so those are all signs to me saying we potentially could get Bitcoin for a lower price. So that's something that I did want to put out there to you guys. Just be careful. You know, could we always set the next little higher low? Here was a higher low with a bullish engulfing and we came back down here and maybe right in here. But we really don't have any support or any reason for this to be the spot for it to turn and start moving up. I want to look at some of these lower levels. Like I said, there's always opportunities, guys. Right now, the trend's down. The moving averages are down we had a trend line break these are significant things and you have to pay attention to them so we're going to move on to litecoin next if you guys get something from that like subscribe hit that notification bell i appreciate you guys on the last video we got almost 300 likes so you were killing it for me and that really shows that you appreciate what we do here so guys that was that was great thank you very much so in terms of litecoin we're at 38 dollars 19 cents want to take a look at this so what we were paying attention to, if you guys go back and look at the video, we were talking about this potential rising wedge that we were having here. Our price was moving up yet again. Volume was down. We're below all of our moving averages right now. We could not get up above this 20 EMA. So obviously the trend's down along with that trend line break down here. So what I would look at for support for Litecoin is going to be at $36. $0.43 is going to be an area. Then it'll be down here around $34.23. And then it'll be 
roughly, I would say about $32.41. And a lot of the times if this rising wedge, it does follow through, you'll get a break back down to the bottom where it began. And I won't go off the wick because it was so manipulated there. We'd go off the real body and that put us back down around $30. So there is always that potential. If we do have an upside break now, what we would want to target is a candle close up above this 20 EMA. Put that on your charts. It's going to be something that can help you out. Do you see how this throughout this whole downtrend, we have been underneath it as well as that 50. So these are going to be important things for us. And that 20 is at $41.57. So really pay attention to that area. But the volume's getting really low again. So we're going to have some type of a break here coming. It's getting getting to that point again so really prepare yourself guys so that's a quick one on litecoin then we'll go into xrp and our rsi is at 40 on the one day time frame for litecoin and then for xrp what we have here here's what i've been looking at this trend line right here i want to see it continuously being respected and then from the downside, we're trying to break up out of that. So we almost have two trend lines that are converging right there. And it's time to make a move. We need to either get over this 20 EMA, which is going to be at about 17 and a half cents, and start making a strong move up to, we'll call it 20 cents, 0 0.20477, that area right in there, or up to this 50 moving average on the one day time frame. And that's going to be around 22 cents. So those are going to be the upside targets if we can break up through this to the downside and say we see rejection right in here we're going to look down to about 14 and a half cents again i would look at that area and then i'd look down to around we'll call it 14 cents right in that range our rsi right now is at 45 but this is what we need to continuously have move higher highs and higher lows the higher lows are still coming in and what we'll do is take a look on the four hour so we can get a little bit better picture of it so as you can see with these trend lines, this green one right here, we want to see it respected. We want to continue to get a nice strong move off there. And that next target would be up here around, we'll say 19 cents. We need to get up above and that's going to be that 200 moving average on the four hour time frame, which will be important. Then downside on the four hour here, we do have some support from the 50 moving average and that's going to be at 0.16389 is where we're gonna find a little bit of support there. So, you know guys, these are the things that I wanna to bring to you. Check out this volume, candles are getting tight. We're gonna be waiting for that break. See if we can get up there above 18 cents or if we're gonna start breaking to the downside. But these are the things I wanted to bring to you. I just wanted to do this a little bit quicker today. I didn't even intend to really make a video, but we have to watch these things. As the candles get tight, there's going to be some moves that are coming in here, and we need to be prepared for them. But right now, overall, the trend has been down, and that's where I just want you to protect yourself in terms of, you know, like Bitcoin overall. It's been down, and we have to be careful in these areas because as we know we've seen it drop from 6,000 to 3,000 overnight before these things can really move hard and fast and aggressive and you need to be prepared for it so you don't end up losing 40 percent of your trading stack or whatever so just be prepared guys that's what i want to bring you today happy sunday god bless you all take care